Welcome back YouTube, I'm Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to show you the top 5 Android apps I managed to get my hands on in November 2020. Some of these apps are really helpful and others are very entertaining. So let's see what I have for you but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. The first app I'm going to show you today is called Dolby On. This app is for recording high quality audio using your phone. The app will apply eight different enhancements on your recordings to make it sound a lot better. The app is not meant for recording normal voice memos indoors in quiet environments, but it's for the more challenging situations like recording a concert with a lot of background noise or recording a lecture in a hall with a lot of reverb in the background. That's when these enhancements will make a big difference for you. But before showing you the difference in sound quality, let me show you what this app can do. The first page you get when you open the app, which is this one, is for recording audio only. The one on the left is for recording videos with high sound quality. And the one on the right is for live stream. So you can live stream directly from the app and enhance the sound quality of your live stream. You can live stream to pretty much any social media platform. Tap on the live stream icon and then on the top right corner you will get a button called choose streaming account. When you tap on it, you will get two options. You can directly stream to Twitch because it's integrated in the app at the moment. All you need to do is to put the username and password and you are good to go. If you want to stream on any other social media platform, tap on custom URL and here it will ask you for the RTMP link and the stream key. If you don't know how to get this information, go back to the first page and tap on settings, recording tips, and then scroll down until you find an article called how to live stream with Dolby On. Tap on learn more. Scroll down until you find a hyperlink called RTMP info. When you tap on it, it will show you the steps for the most popular social media platforms, Vimeo, YouTube, Facebook, and so on. Take the information and put it in the Dolby On app and start your live stream with high audio quality. Now let me give you an idea about the difference in sound quality. To access the previous recordings, you need to tap on this icon. And the first one I have in the list is a sample I recorded myself in a noisy environment. And when I tap on it, it will show me the playback page. Here you have a switch on the top right corner that will turn on or off any enhancements. So I will play the recording and will keep switching the toggle on or off to give you an idea about the difference in sound quality. My phone is on the maximum volume right now. So this is a quick sample using the Dolby On app. Uh, I am outdoors now. I have a lot of background noise, as you can tell. Uh, and I'm doing this recording to give you an idea about how this app can enhance your recording. Uh, so I will turn the uh, noise reduction on or off. I will also play around with the uh, equalizer and the style uh, to give you an idea how much better I can make my recording using this app. For me, that was a day and night difference. The Dolby On app reduced a lot of the background noise, plus my voice was louder and crisper. So please let me know what do you think in the comments. And if you want to adjust the audio settings yourself, you can tap on tools. And the first thing you get is the style. Here you will get six different equalizer presets to choose from. Tapping on each one will give you a brief description or you can turn it off entirely. Tapping on the style once more will give you a slider to change the intensity of the style you want. Under noise, you will get the noise reduction slider. You can increase the intensity from zero to 10 but I don't recommend exceeding level 5 because that will make your recording sound a bit weird. Under tone, you can adjust the treble, the mids, and the bass separately. Next, you have boost if you want to increase the volume of your recording. And finally, you have the trim. Beside the audio tools, you can share your recording directly to SoundCloud, Instagram, Facebook, or Dolby On support if you have an issue. You can save the video or the audio file to your local folders. 
you can export the lossless audio file if you are using the feature or tap on more audio apps to get the full share sheet on your device. You can also mark your recording as a favorite. Under the hidden menu, you can rename or delete the recording and finally add visuals. Here you can choose between different styles. Then you can share your recording as a video, including the animated waveform and the audio file, and that will make it more enjoyable. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the Dolby On app. Let's move on to the next one. The second app I have is called Voicey for WhatsApp. This application will allow you to listen to your WhatsApp voice messages in the background without any interruptions, and that will give you two advantages. First, you will be able to use your WhatsApp application normally and access whatever conversation you want without stopping your current voice message from playing. So for example, if someone sent you a voice message, when you hit play and try to go back to access a different conversation, that playback will stop immediately. But when you use Voicey for WhatsApp, you can start your playback from here and the message will keep playing in the background and you still can access whatever conversation in your WhatsApp without interrupting the playback. The second advantage is when you play your voice memo from this app, the other person who sent it will not be able to tell if you listened to it and that will increase your privacy. The interface of the app is very simple. The voice messages are organized based on the time. So here you have today, this week, previous week and the full list of messages you received since you started using WhatsApp. But here the messages are classified into folders and each folder will include one week worth of voice messages. So when you go to this folder, you will see only one week and you can go back and keep checking your messages that way. Also, the messages are sorted in descending order. So the newest voice messages will be always on top. The only drawback of this app, you will not be able to tell the name of the voice message sender, but as per the developer, this feature might be included in future updates. And finally, under settings, you can enable biometric authentication or passcode to keep your voice messages safe. But to do this, you have to pay for the premium version, which will cost you $1 and that will also remove any ads. So now we are done with Voicey for WhatsApp. Let's move on to the next one. The third app I have here is called Find Phone by Whistle. And from the name, you can immediately guess what it does. This app can help you locate your misplaced phone using just a whistle. So you no longer need to ask someone to call your phone number or you don't need to have a smartwatch and ping your phone from it but all you need to do is just a simple whistle. At the top, you have the power switch to turn the feature on or off. Next, you have the three types of notifications that you can choose from. The first one is the flashlight. You can turn it on or off. Next, the melody, and that will ask you which melody you want to use. You can use your default ringtone or choose one of the preloaded melodies in the app. Some of them are free like those two, and others are only available for premium users. And finally, you can set an MP3 file as your melody. Uh, next, you have the vibration. And the best part here, you can activate either one, two, or all of them together. So now let me show you a real life scenario. Now I will quit the app, lock my phone, and flip it over and give it a quick whistle. So as you see, now the flashlight turned on, the phone is vibrating and also the melody is playing. So I found this app to be very reliable. And under settings, you can do extra changes. The first thing is to change the language of the app. You can change the sensitivity of the whistle. So I recommend playing around with the sensitivity until you find the one that works the best with your phone. Next, you can change the length of your melody. Here you have from two seconds up to 10 seconds. You can also change the melody from here. Next, you can turn the uh, vibration and the flashlight on or off. You can also activate the dark mode, but this will require the app to restart. Next, you have help, rate us, share, and more apps from the same developer. If you want to purchase the premium version that doesn't include any ads and it will give you also access to extra melodies, you can tap on this icon at the top right corner and it will cost you $7.49.
It's a bit expensive, but I found the free app to be more than enough for my day-to-day -day usage. So I'm done with the Find Phone by Whistle. So now let's move on to the next app. The fourth app I have is called Did You Know? This app will provide you with a ton of new fun facts that you didn't know about before. When you open the app, you will find a list of 22 different topics to choose from. The first nine topics are totally free of charge, but if you want to unlock the rest of the 22 topics, you need to pay for the premium version and that will cost you $2.99. I'm going to show you how to purchase the premium version later in this video, but for now, let's pick any topic and see some fun facts. And here's the first fun fact under the interesting category and it says the best time for a person to buy a shoes is in the afternoon. This is because the foot tends to swell a bit around this time. And this is the kind of fun facts you will get with this app. When you keep scrolling you will get a lot of um, cool fun facts and I found this app to be very engaging and entertaining as well. And if you want to purchase the premium version tap on the settings icon and then tap on remove ads and unlock all premium facts. The cost will be $2.99. Also under settings, you can activate the daily facts. So you will get a notification every day with a new fact on your phone. So now I'm done with the did you know app. Now let's move on to the next one. And the final app I have today is called Sketch AR. This app will help you draw a lot of things like animals, dogs, birds, celebrities, or anything you can think of using augmented reality or in other words the app will use your phone's camera and project the object on your paper so you can follow exactly what you see through your phone's camera and i found this app to be very helpful in this matter i don't have any drawing skills and i managed to produce very decent results with the help of this app so let me show you how the ar drawing works first you need to go to the sketches tab and here you can pick any of the free sketches you see here. Uh, when you see the pro logo, that means it will require the pro version that I'm going to show you how to get later in this video. But for now, you have some decent free sketches to choose from. I'm going to go for this one. And when you tap on draw with AR or augmented reality, it will load for a few seconds and then you need to tap the screen. And as you see here, the uh, lion or the tiger is now projected on my surface so I can use a pen and paper to start drawing using the phone camera like this I recommend using a tripod or a mobile stand to get the best results and to keep your phone steady so for example I'm gonna put my phone on this stand and get a piece of paper like this and I now can match exactly what I see from my phone camera. So as you see here, the tip of my pencil is exactly in the same location. So I can start drawing that way. Not only this, but the app will automatically start recording your drawing in time lapse and export will allow you to export the video uh, at the end so you can share it on social media and here's one of the time lapses i recorded for myself using this app and as you see it looks really nice from this page you can view your time lapse or you can share it with others by tapping on the share button here you have a switch called view a time lapse if you have it turned on you will be able to share the time lapse video but if you turn it off you will you can only share the final result as a photo under feed you can share or put your work online and the best artworks will be chosen to participate in contests but if you want to do this you have to purchase the pro version the pro version will cost 34.99 dollars every year and the monthly subscription will be for seven for 6.99 dollars so that's pretty much it for today those are the top five apps i managed to get my hands on in november 2020 all the download links for these apps will be in the description below so i hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching